Indie Mogul. Indie Mogul. Hello everyone and welcome to Backyard Effects, the show that teaches you how to make your own special effects for cheap. This week we're showing you how to make fake breakaway bottles. This week we're answering your request and showing you how to make a fake bottle that you can safely smash on your actor's head. This effect was requested by so many people that in order to get through it, I'm gonna have to talk like that annoying kid Fred. <sighs> Here we go. Jacob, Forest Fire 010, Manga Shock, Alex Movie Studio, Silver Cup Studios, V8500, Zoridia 7, X Lates, Indie Fan 444, Psychotic Jester, Daydreamer 1, Jack Evans 3, Sanch, Video Vigilante, Jesse Magia, Mudib 9, White and Nerdy to the Max, Derek, Michael, Corey Henley, and Movie Spillage. <sighs> For this episode, we're gonna be using sugar glass again, so refer back to the original sugar glass episode for more details. One empty beer bottle. One empty two liter soda bottle. Two trial size packages of Umu 25 rubber molding compound. Some household sugar, light corn syrup, and cream of tartar. What will you do if they find you? I can protect myself. <laughs> This is a pretty simple build, as long as you pay attention to all the steps and have some patience. The first step is to clean out your 2 liter bottle and beer bottle. Now remove all labels and residual glue from the outside of your beer bottle. I chose to mold a beer bottle that was a bit on the shorter side so that it would fit inside our 2 liter bottle. Next, cut the top off your 2 liter like so. Then, hot glue this piece to the top of your beer bottle. At this point, I also hot glued in the 2 liter bottle cap inside of this then screwed on an unused paint stir. This will act as a brace that keeps the bottom of the beer bottle from resting at the bottom of the inside of the two liter. Using some very sophisticated side braces, I am now ready to mix and pour my mold material. Follow the instructions on your specific mold material, but for me, I just had to mix equal parts of A and B, stir well and pour. Because the empty beer bottle was so buoyant, I had to put some books on top to keep the bottle down. Now wait your appropriate curing time. For me, it was 75 minutes. Now, very carefully cut along the sides of your mold about this far. Carefully wiggle for your bottle and take a look at your mold. It should look like this. Now we can move on to the sugar glass phase. You can refer back to our original sugar glass episode for more details. But the basic procedure is to mix your sugar, corn syrup, water, and cream of tartare and slowly bring them to a boil. Stir often and when your mixture reaches 300 degrees, you're ready to go. Make sure and spray some mold release or cooking spray inside your mold. At this point, you can also add some color to your sugar mix. Place some tape or rubber bands around the mold so that it's securely shut. Carefully pour some of your liquid sugar glass into the mold and tilt and spin like so. The idea is to get an even layer of sugar glass along the entire length of the bottle as it cools. It may take making a few bottles to get it just right. Also be very careful when dealing with this hot sugar glass mixture as it is extremely sticky and extremely hot. Go ahead and pour any excess liquid sugar glass into the pot and set your bottle aside to completely cool. I stuck mine in the fridge for about an hour. When your bottle has cooled enough, you can remove the rubber bands or tape and open the mold. Carefully and slowly remove your new breakaway bottle from the mold. Add some more realism with a fake beer label. With your new mold and more sugar glass mixture, you can make as many bottles as you want. But remember that sugar glass doesn't keep well in heat, so keep those babies in the fridge until you're ready to smash them. Thank you for watching another episode of BFX. If you like this show or any of our other awesome indie mogul programming, please 
subscribe. It's the best way to keep Indie Mogul broadcasting on the interwebs and is totally free. It can be your Christmas present to us. Also, let us know what you most want for Christmas by leaving a comment down below. Because Santa reads our comments. Even if your last take looked good, take another one. Trust me, it'll pay off when you're editing your footage.